For one minute, let's test a viral claim together. A medium post called Tracking 3i Atlas, Active Maneuvering Confirmed, says the comet is firing engines. Stay to the end for three simple checks and the dates that matter. Short take. There's no solid evidence yet. NASA and the official orbit trackers still show a gravity-only path. The post points to differences with JPL horizons. But that can happen if you pick the wrong settings. Apparent versus astrometric. Earth-centered versus your telescope's location. Near the sun, that can shift the position by arc minutes. 15 arc minutes is about half a full moon. That is a big miss for a settings mistake. Not proof of thrust. Next claim. The gap keeps growing, so there's a sideways push of almost four kilometers per second. If that were real, JPL and the Minor Planet Center would add non-gravitational terms to the orbit. They have not. Independent observatories would report the same offset. They have not. It looks dimmer than predicted, so it's suspicious. Comet brightness is messy. A few tenths of a magnitude is normal. It depends on aperture, processing, and dust. Expect a faint telescope target when it returns, not naked eye. Blasco shows geometric shapes. Coronagraphs are full of image artifacts, blooming, cosmic rays, processing crosses. Shapes are not engines. What does the real physics say? 3. IATLAS looks like an active, CO2-rich interstellar comet. Swift even saw water much farther out than usual. Weird chemistry, yes. Thrust, number. Here are your three checks for any new claim. 1. Do multiple pro-observatories report the same residuals? 2. Did JPL or the MPC add non-gravitational terms to the orbit and explain the fit? 3. Did NASA or ESA issue an anomaly note after review? Dates that matter. October 21st was conjunction. We could not watch from Earth. October 29th to 30th is perihelion. Early December is when faint views return for telescopes.